Hello, survivors. Hi, family and friends. This is Roy from Bootsy Sweetheart's Guide to Life and other disappointing experiences in my garden to show you two things. One, a 1st of July progress report on the beautiful garden. And second, I have a new toy, a new gimbal. And let me show you how that works. Stay with me, please. Well, our garden is small but productive and uh, I want to take you on a quick tour and then show you um, how I'm doing this videoing with my new gimbal. Every year we start our little garden by tilling the um, soil and we always augment the soil with some new compost um, from the garden center. The garden is really very small. It's about five feet wide by maybe 30 feet long. And um, it produces a lot. Here, for example, um, we're going up this year, planting vertically to get as much production out of that little plot of land as we can. And here we have the zucchini. This year, so far, it's been very, very good. Um, we're keeping on our toes looking for the vine borer, which demolishes our zucchini every year. But we overplanted, so if we lose one or two, it won't uh, hurt our yield all that much. Climbing up the pole, where if you remember my bee video, this is where uh, the carpenter bees put their nest, are cucumbers. Then I've attached some string twine to poles and then down uh, to let the beans climb up the string so they're attached to the poles and uh, they love it they love it. we've already had three four five um, uh, harvests of beans this is a couple of tomato plants I love having the um, this is a tomato plant from last year it just started growing don't even know how it got in there. Squirrels are amazing. Again, here's the beans growing up tall. Look at how healthy they are. In the back is kale. We've been having trouble with white fly. I'll talk more about that in another video. We try to always have flowers to attract the pollinators. This is the peace rose. It was my grandmother's favorite. Just love it. Uh, and there was a monarch butterfly just flew by. That was nice. Here's some more kale. The other curly kale seems to be better for, I broke my glasses, so I'm suffering here, for getting rid of these diseases like the, an insect's pest like the uh, white fly. Uh, here is some of our baby string beans. Another form of curly kale. We've had uh, one big harvest of kale so far. Our climbing tomatoes, our cherry tomatoes, are attached to a, a mesh in the back of the fence. Every year we grow peppers. This year and last, the third year in a row we have the shashitos. They are wonderful. They're prolific. They taste great. Uh, once in a while you get a hot, not hot, but spicy, but most of the time they're very, very mild. Um, eggplant, they're doing well. Last year we did not have a good eggplant year. Um, this year we're hoping for better. We seem to be uh, ahead of it. You'll see there's a geranium there. We read somewhere, I read, that uh, squirrels don't like geraniums. Yeah, right. Here's a bucket of radishes. I'm putting in uh, more radishes. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, 
and we'll pull them out, some for salad, and let some grow into maturity. There is that white fly, and this is Brussels sprouts. The white fly lays eggs on the Brussels sprout leaves underneath, and they literally devastate the plant if you can't get ahead of it. Um, it's mostly mechanical ways, like we squirt water on them and go through almost every leaf, but uh, they still damage a great deal. Plus, there's a caterpillar that goes with it. Mm. I don't know. Is the vicious enemy of kale and um, Brussels sprouts, the white fly. I'll do a video on that in the future. Uh, coming back here, there's the tomato plant and the white fly, the butterfly or moth. I think technically it's a moth. Has no regard, doesn't matter whether it's a tomato plant or what. Cucumbers, again, we're growing them vertically because we don't have a lot of ground space. And we usually get a very good yield. We actually put some up. We make bread and butter, bread and butter, uh, pickles for the summer, for the winter. This is amazing. This is a romaine lettuce that was growing last year. And we've been harvesting and leaves off of it up till now. It's starting to bolt, so we're gonna have to cut it down, but uh, that's amazing. Another form of pepper, we have the jalapeno. We grow one bush of hot potato, uh, te peppers. <laughs> Last year we had Tabasco peppers, too hot. 25 billion degrees. The, this, these are hot as well. Here's another rose bush. This had four or five blossoms which attract. You see we have marigolds. Uh, a second patch of zucchini. The, um, this particular plant has done well. And in a pot, I always grow um, yellow beans. I like a selection of beans. So this year we have long beans, yellow beans, string beans. And uh, I'll get three plantings out of the yellow beans. So well until October, uh, maybe even November, depending on the frost. Here on Long Island, I can continue to grow beans. Some of our day lilies. All these are day lilies back here. Um, now, way in the back, I cut up a couple of old potatoes that were done, and I planted them, and they are growing. So we will have a crop of potatoes, which is fun for the kids. Finally, we have a rosemary bush that has uh, existed three years now in the cold winters. In the back, we have uh, a line of raspberries, and if we can beat the birds to the raspberries, we get at least one nice dessert. It, uh, raspberry bushes are under a big tree, so they're not, they don't get as much sun as they really need. Um, little bird feeder. And uh, in the back here, this, I wasn't going to show this, but uh, something interesting happened. Is a hydrangea. It's magnificent. This Nothing grows here. Grass does not grow in this spot. But this year we came out to check it. Of course, there was very little grass. All of these are strawberry bushes. They must have been deposited here by birds who have eaten somebody's strawberries. <laughs> Now I don't know what to do because we have this whole big patch of strawberries uh, way in the back. Uh, there's also corn in the back there. Everybody has to have an herb garden. Here's our sage. Here's our thyme. Thyme is beautiful, that bush. We're growing some basil. Not a herb at all, but Swiss chard we're growing. The tender leaves are great for salads. There's a bug that's been getting them. I'll, I'll do that in that next video and uh, oregano. Every garden needs a place that's serene and calm. And this is our little rock garden with our water feature. <laughs> Very popular nowadays. A little birdhouse that houses our thrift store amplifier for speakers and music. Ferns, 
Rusty Miller, there's some Paragon in there. It's just a beautiful, quiet spot. And now a quick look at my new toy, my new Osmo Gimbal. So it started to rain, but the show must go on. Just wanted to take a minute or two to show you my latest toy. It's my new gimbal. Um, I have an old one, which is taking the video right now is um, on a, an old cell phone. And what's nice about this new gimbal is that it attaches to the cell phone either with a magnet or they have a sticky system that works like uh, one of those poppets. Now for those of you who don't uh, do video videoing, the gimbal, make it look like I have some upper, <laughs> make it look like I have more training than I actually do and make it look like I'm not alone. But there's so many special features on this new one. There is software that goes with the gimbal. And see, all I do is hit the power button. And the gimbal finds its correct position. Look at that. That is wonderful. And it can zoom. So many things it can do and you saw that it can follow me around well the old one can too you notice the old one is moving oh you lost me oh well i'll have to refine myself that's one of the improvements that they made on on this particular gimbal and it has a sort of like a built-in tripod that comes off it's very light and all the hand controls are on this little area here and a, a um, zoom on this side. So this is my gimbal and I'll be doing more things with it. So the battery is wearing out on the old gimbal. Uh, as I learn more about this I'll share as much as I can with you. It's a lot of fun. I can't believe it's all this technology, just a lot of fun. Well, I see some delicious aphids on a cucumber plant just across from me. So it's time for me to go. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our garden, a small garden. It is a victory garden. Um, and the little demonstration on what a gimbal can do. I hope to expand on that in some videos uh, in the future. Please hit that subscribe button if you like this sort of thing. Please share with others. Give a thumbs up. And as always, until the next time, be safe, be smart, be well, and bye for now.